Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this video we're going to be talking about running multiple notebooks concurrently, so at the same time. Before we dive into what high concurrency mode is in Microsoft Fabric, I think it's best to start off with a bit of an example as to showcase the need for this or demonstrate why this is important. So if you can imagine that you have your Spark session, and on this Spark session you're running a notebook, maybe you're training a machine learning model, or you're doing some really complex data engineering run and it might take 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe up to 30 minutes to do this run. Well, what you don't want to do is allow that to kind of cripple your productivity and mean like, well, if that Spark session is being used, then I can't use it to do any other tasks in another notebook. Well, what high concurrency mode solves it allows you to run multiple notebooks at the same time using the same Spark session, right? So we can run our long running training of a machine learning model, for example, and then we can open up other notebooks and we can do other stuff on that. And the Spark capacity is gonna share resources for each of your notebooks. There's not gonna be any starvation of resources. It's gonna be shared between them. So that's a little bit of about what high concurrency mode is and the problem that it seeks to solve. I think let's have a look at how we can do that. So I've jumped back to the end-to-end -end machine learning project that we did. Okay, so let's set up a high concurrency session. So all throughout this course so far, we've been using a standard session. So if we go to the run tab and you click on this setting here called standard session, by default, everything is a standard session, right? means that one notebook uses one Spark session. We've also got this option for a new high concurrency session. So when I click on that, what's going to happen is you're telling Fabric, okay, I want to, want to run this notebook, but I also want to run other notebooks at the same time. So it's going to start a new high concurrency session that's going to allow us to do that. You can see here, it's just starting the session. Okay, so now we can see session ready, high concurrency. Right. And then if you look up here where we had standard session before, we've got this high concurrency session and the details of it here. And it says notebooks attached one of five. Right. So now we can run our machine learning training session. It can run for an hour or whatever. And at the same time, we can go into another notebook and do some other pieces of work. So now let's go back to our workspace. We can open up another notebook. Okay, so now I want to do some reading of files into the data frame. We're going back in time, back to one of the previous lessons. And what you'll notice now is because we've already got a high concurrency session running, what's going to happen is when we start this session, it's going to be a lot quicker, right? So what we're going to have to do by default still, it will be the standard session. But if we go to the run tab and we click on standard session up here, wait for this to load. We've got loading existing sessions. Okay, so there we have it. So this is our Spark ML high concurrency session. So if we click on this, then what's going to happen is we're going to be using that same Spark session that that machine learning notebook is using where you run this code cell and we want to do some transformation and work in this in interactive mode. So there you go. So we can see here that the Spark session started in nine seconds and that's because we're in high concurrency mode. So it doesn't have to start up a brand new session. It's just tuning into that session that we've already got running on the Spark ML notebook. And so what does this actually mean? Well, if we flip back to the documentation, this gives us a lot of benefits, right? So if you're a user that's using a low capacity, like an F2 capacity of fabric, then it's going to allow you to use a lot more resources kind of in parallel. So this is a little bit about how that works. If we flick over to the documentation, we can see that you can have multiple notebooks all hooking into this Spark session, basically. So there's a few things to bear in mind when you're wanting to do high concurrency mode in Fabric. So there's three sharing conditions, right? So it must be within a single user boundary, which in other words means you can only do it for yourself. 
currently. So you can't share a session with one of your colleagues. That currently is, is not possible. The sessions should have the same default lakehouse configuration, right? So both of your notebooks in this high concurrency mode should have the same default lakehouse, okay? And the third kind of condition to allow this to work is that they should have the same Spark compute resources, right? Because you, know, you can't have a custom configuration of Spark for one notebook, maybe an XL large, an XX large configuration node sizing for one notebook, and the other one is like a starter pool. There's a mismatch in the configurations there, so you're not going to be able to do this sharing of the Spark session. So those are the three conditions that we need to bear in mind.